<laughs> What's up, Rainmaker family? Chelsea is dancing in the background um, because she's so excited about the message we're about to bring to you yeah, today. This is a mindset message today because we feel like sometimes you just need a little mental adjustment. You know, you go to the chiropractor, you get your back cracked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you get your back cracked up and uh, sometimes you need your mind cracked open to new possibilities and new realities for you. So that's what we're about to talk about today. Something we've been currently just kind of battling through. And we feel like this quote we bring up a lot on the show is, you know, what you carry will be reflected in those you lead. So if you're listening to this show, you know, there's something we carry that you are drawn to, you resonate with, you want in your life. And that's the goal with the show, that we can give that to you in bite-sized chunks. Actually, you can see some ROI, some return on investment of your time. We, we know your time is super valuable. And you just listening to the show, we just want to thank you for that. And we hope that you see amazing results in your life just from tuning into the show here and there. Today, I showed up at my Pilates class. I wanted to quit. I wanted to throw in the towel. I wanted to walk out and say, not today, Pilates. See you later. And let me just explain for a minute. Uh, today, you know, I think when we, we do workouts, when you're in business, you have days where some days are really easy. You're in the flow. You're like, wow, like I'm able to lift this amount of weight or I'm able to do this kind of exercise. And then you have days where it's really, really challenging and your, mu your muscles hurt. You have days where you're more dehydrated. And I don't know what it was about this workout, but I showed up and it was just way more challenging than I thought. And I just want to paint a picture for you. I show up right when the class is about to start. And of course, one of the only spots left is right near the instructor. So I feel like all eyes are on me because when everyone's looking over towards the instructor doing a certain movement, I feel like people are looking at me, which may or may not be true, but you know, I'm having to take more breaks. I'm drinking water. I'm using lighter weights and all of that. And I just feel like, man, today's one of those days where I'm like, I'm not in the groove. I'm not the strongest that I thought I was. And it reminded me a lot about business and how there are walls that come up in your business. There are days where you want to throw in the towel. And although Steven and I would never throw in the towel, and I know you wouldn't either, you have moments, you have little moments where it's just like, man, this is harder than I thought it would be. And when you have those moments, I feel like it is an opportunity to lean in. It's an opportunity to push past the uncomfortable. I was really uncomfortable in my Pilates class today. Like my muscles were tight. Like I was being challenged and stretched in new ways. And today's class, although I wanted to throw on the towel, it was an opportunity to lean in and to say, hey, I'm so glad that I shoot. <laughs> I'm so glad that I showed up, that I chose to do this class instead of something else, because I know in the long term, it's going to make me stronger. And I have to put in the work daily, weekly to see the results that I want to see. And in business, you have to put in the work daily. You have to show up even when you don't want to, to put in the work, to see the results later down the line that you want to see. And when those opportunities, when those days come up where things are hard is an opportunity to show up and to say, I'm going to push past the uncomfortable because I know it's building my character and it's getting me where I ultimately want to go. And if I just quit today, I'm not going to be be where I want to be. So there's a little gym analogy for you real life. I wanted to throw in the towel and I didn't. And I'm so glad that I showed up for my gym class. And I'm sh so glad that I sh we show up day in, day in and out for you guys all the time. And we love you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know how to end that, but uh, I wanted to quit today and I didn't. So good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that topic of leaning in is so crucial. We had Ollie just join us. He's going to be eating a little bit. So you may hear him in the background. Um, he's doing awesome, by the way. And we had this season of leaning in with him. If you missed that episode uh, where we talked about the hospital scare and doing all that thing, this is another one of those times just hammered in that concept that in conflict, in pain, in trials, you can lean in or you can disconnect. Those are the, really the two options. But when you lean in, it's who you become in that process that is so powerful. And recently, I had a mentor say this over me, um, which was so encouraging. He said that, you know, we, we always talk about trimming the vine. If you've listened to any of our episodes, we mentioned this a lot. 
where when you are trying to grow something beautiful, right? You're trying to build a business. You're trying to raise kids, right? You're trying to, you know, have progress or, or success in some area of your life. Sometimes you have to trim back to see growth. Same thing you see this in agriculture, right? You're growing, you know, grapes on a vine, but you have to prune the vine. You have to trim back back to the fruit. And sometimes this feels painful, but it's so that you can grow more in the, in the future. If you just keep trying to grow that vine forever, uh, without trimming, without correction, without pruning, it'll just grow sticks. It'll just grow, be overextended. You got to trim back to the fruit so that it can have more nutrients going through that vine, more effectiveness, and that will grow fruit in the future, beautiful fruit in the future. And a mentor said this to me based on that. He knew that we talk about vines all the time and rainmakers. And he said that, you know, you don't trim the vine that's not growing fruit. Like you trim the good vine. And a mentor said this to me this week and it just hit me right here. And I never heard it said this way, but he was just like, you don't trim bad vines. You trim the good vine, you know? So the things that are happening in your life are actually confirmation of good things, not pointing out bad things. He said, what you feel like is wrong with you is actually what's right with you. The things you feel like are going uh, not the way you hoped is actually uh, what is required for you to go through for you to have the breakthrough that you're desiring. And uh, I kind of saw this chart in my mind. And uh, if I could just paint this on on your mind, I know you can't see a visual unless you're watching this on YouTube. Um, but if you could see like almost like a stock chart, right? A stock chart, you can see like the line going up, the price going up, and it comes down and it goes up. Imagine that line, like, let's just say your success in business and life and whatever that is. And success is not just a straight line up. Sometimes it can be an exponential line, but typically it's a roller coaster, right? It's a roller coaster. It's up and down. It's up and down. However, what he kind of pointed out to me, which I thought was so crucial, is that a lot of times, if we learn to lean in, in the down, um, we can build authority, we can build a resistance, we can build um, uh, uh, like a we can build a bounce point, basically. So if you could see like your line of success going up, let's say with your business, right? You get to the mountaintop and everything is going really well in certain area with your business, right? And it might not be where you wanted to go. It might not be your long-term goal of like where you eventually want to go, but it feels like, wow, this is a new high, right? That's not where this stuff happens. That's not where the deep work happens. That's actually going to take you to the next level. A lot of times what will happen is you'll come down just a little bit off that mountain and in the valley is where this stuff happens. And Chelsea and I have been through this multiple times in our business and we're just saying this as a reminder to ourselves and a reminder to anyone else in that season right now. If you're feeling like you're in that kind of valley season, who you become in that process is actually what sets you up for the next breakthrough. It's actually what allows you to break through the ceiling of that all-time high of, of whatever that last mountaintop was and go to the next even higher mountaintop. But the really cool thing that this mentor pointed out to me is that if you can le do that, you can lean in in those low seasons, you can go internal, you can have the hard conversations, you can learn about yourself and what it's going to take to grow in that area to have that breakthrough, right? If you do that, which if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably doing this, you're probably doing this in many areas of your business, you're going to have that breakthrough. But then anytime they are going to have another value in your life, because again, it's not a straight line up, you typically will never go be below um, where you were previously. Okay. So just to give like a, let's just make it really real as a monetary example. Let's say you grow your business to a million dollars a year. Okay. And that's your, get your mountaintop. Then you have, you know, a lull in the business and it comes down to, let's say 500 K. Okay. Just imagine this line up to a million down to 500 K. You do the work that it takes to get to multiple seven figures in your business. Then you break through. Now you're doing five million a year. Okay. You break through exponential again. You break through that million dollar, which is the height. Okay. And and let's say you go up to two million. Okay, that's not making it as drastic. Okay. So you go up to a million, down to five hundred, then you break through the two million. When you come back down on the next valley, because this is a process of learning about yourself and growing, who do you need to become to go to the next level? That next valley will be at a million. And even though it feels scarce, it feels like, oh no, like things are not going the way I thought, it's still your last high because you built authority there and you won't go below that.
Okay. So you build authority there in the, in the Valley, you're at a million. Now you go to 4 million. The next Valley comes down to two, then you go to six, then you go to four. Right. So I don't know if you can see that in your head, but you build this resistance level of just like, we've built systems. We've built things in place where we know that we're not going backwards. I'm not going to adopt an old mindset or an old way of doing things. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, aiming for breakthrough. And it's not always just to always move the needle or always move the goalpost of like, what is that financial goal? But I know a lot of the people that listen to this show are wired like us, where like um, you are very aspirational. You have huge dreams. And when you smash through a goal, there's going to be another one that comes along. And it doesn't mean you have to go after it, but it means it's an invitation into becoming uh, the type of person that can hit that goal. And that's the challenge that attracts all of us to entrepreneurship, the the process, the 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 stretching of yourself. It's the um, it's the how can I mindset that. Uh, you have to have to overcome the I can'ts that be, are being thrown your way every single day. We just want to come on here for a quick mindset boost for you this week. Hopefully there's something in here you can take, you can chew on. Um, no matter where you're at, we just want to call you at, out right now that in those those down seasons where you feel like, man, I am just hoping for that breakthrough. We are right there to hope with you and say that it's not pointless to hope. Hope is so powerful. It's a powerful thing to have hope and faith that you are going to break through. And the things you are going through now are things that are preparing you mm-hmm. for the breakthrough. The thing I was telling the mastermind this week was it feels like kind of a restriction season for some people, like where you feel like almost like you're, it's like you, you have so much potential. Like I almost see it like a runner who has like so much potential to sprint, but he actually just has a few chains holding him back. And he's just pushing and pushing against those chains. And and he knows that he has so much potential to run down this track, but the chains are still there. And there's still something there. I feel like in this season, in some people's lives, that has a little bit of that resistance. But in the pushing and just even still hoping, instead of like the runner who's just like, he sees the chain and he's he uh, he just lays down and gives up, right? Instead of that person, this, this runner is really leaning against the chains. He's really pushing every single day and he's actually growing strength. Right, um, actually growing strength, and one day he will have the strength because of what he went through and pushing against the resistance to break those chains and to fly. And so, I just want to call that out in you. If that's resonating resonating with you in the season, take a hold of it. Be encouraged that you are taking steps in the right direction. You are building strength for your next breakthrough. And if you are um, in one of these seasons where you feel like numbers are down or, or emotions are down or whatever's down in your life, look back at your history. And that'll also build your faith to say like, yes, I feel like I'm down now, but I'm still at a previous mountaintop, a previous thing I overcame in. And um, I will not go backwards. Mm-hmm. I will not go backwards. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Rainmaker Family Show. If that resonated with you, if you want to encourage another business owner, make sure to share this link with a friend and we'll see you next time on the Rainmaker Family Show. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Rainmaker Family Show. Hey, if you are not a part of our Rainmaker Mastermind, we have a new opportunity for you to book a strategy call with one of our coaches. If you want to do that, go to makeitrainmama.com slash podcast. That's mama, M-O-M-M-A, makeitrainmama.com slash podcast. And you can check out the case study of our Rainmaker program as well as book a one-on-one strategy call with one of our coaches.